What's up guys, TRSKSS here, and today I have a new video for you. Today is going to be a story video, because I figured why not go ahead and give you guys another one of these. You seem to like the last one where I talked about how I got robbed. So today, we're going to be talking about something different, and I think a lot of you guys are going to enjoy it. So before we begin, make sure that you drop a like on the video, subscribe down below, and make sure that you guys turn on notifications for my YouTube channel, because I'm not sure if you guys know this, but YouTube has actually been kind of broken in the past few weeks, and it hasn't really been alerting a lot of my subscribers about my videos, so I would hate it if you guys missed out on my new videos. So make sure that you guys do go ahead and turn them on. But also, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get things started up right now. Alrighty, guys. So, today's story, you know, I've talked about how I got robbed. And I figured why not go ahead and talk about how I almost got poisoned. So this will be a pretty funny one. I mean, you guys will probably enjoy this. But basically this happened last year. You know, last year I was a freshman. And it happened in my algebra class. It happened quite a bit. There was this one girl that no longer lives in the state that I do. And she would always come to class. And she was very interesting. You know, I mean... She wasn't, she was just really kind of strange because, you know, she would always come to class and be a little high or be a little drunk or something like that. And so you never really knew what to expect from her. Some days she would come and she'd be very normal. And then other days she would come and be, you know, kind of, kind of strange. So anyways, guys, basically there was one day that she decided to come to class and you guys could probably guess, she was a little bit high. And, you know, she had already done some pretty crazy things in the class. This was actually in my math class, and the teacher really did not like it. You know, I was in algebra, and every single day that she would come to class and cause a disruption, the teacher would get so angry. And I wouldn't blame him, because if I was trying to teach my class, I wouldn't want somebody to be coming in every single day causing a disruption to the students I was trying to teach. Now, obviously, it was math, so no one really cared that she was causing the disruption, but she did some pretty weird things. So, you know, she started off pretty normal in the very first beginning of the semester, and then she decided, oh, I think I'll go ahead and bring a little blue snowball type thing, you know, not like a blue snowball mic, but it was like this blue snowball speaker, I guess. I'm not really all too sure, but it was, it was like from the same brand that made blue snowball or something. At least that's what she said. So, she brought this little mic into class, you know, she blared her music through that, and then she got weirder and weirder as the semester went on. She started to burn mints onto the tables, she started to pour vape juice into lead holders for your pencil, and she just started to have a all all out party whenever she got to math class, which kind of weird, but at the same time, you know, it also saved us a lot of time from having to do our work. So that was pretty cool. So anyways, we got new seats one day, and the teacher ended up putting me and three other people at a table with her. So it was like a group of four, I think, or something like that. And if one day, she decided to come to class and be very nice, I guess, and bake everybody cookies. So if you guys haven't already figured it out, you know, she had, I guess, some access to some stuff that a lot of kids really didn't have access to. You know, different drugs, different drinks. Things like that that a lot of kids these days don't have access to. And I mean, if they do and if they do it, then they should obviously stop. I mean, I'm not trying to tell anybody how they should live their life or how you guys should go about doing things. But I don't recommend doing drugs or alcohol or anything like that. So what happened is she came to class and she had these homemade cookies. You know, they, they looked really good. They had, like, this nice frosting on them that she said that she made. They were all cut into different little shapes and, you know, circles and triangles and squares. And I was like, wow, this is really cool that she actually went home and did this. So she came into class that day, and as you guys could probably guess, you know, she was kind of, kind of being a little crazy like normal. She was a little bit high. She had done a little bit of weed and stuff before she came into the classroom, and... Basically, she started to take the frosting from her cookies and wipe it on people. So that was very interesting, and that was how I immediately knew that something was up. Because obviously she sat at the table and she took out her cookies and 
you know, she was just sitting there giggling while wiping her blue frosting all over my arm, among other people's arms, legs, and clothing. So she goes on, and she stood up in the middle of the class, and she walked around with her little cookie tray and walked over to a few different tables where she had some friends and things, and she was like, oh, do you want to try a cookie? No one really accepted her cookie offer, but then she went over to the teacher, and she asked the teacher as well, and the teacher was actually smart enough to know that her cookie probably wasn't the best thing. So she came back to our table, and she started to unload the cookies and put them on all of the table mates desks so I had some on my desk she had some on hers then she put some on this other girl's desk and then she put some other cookies on another guy's desk that was sitting right across from me so as you guys could probably guess I really didn't want to take the cookie but she was like oh we should all go ahead and try these cookies together and so then the guy sitting across from me was like why don't you go ahead and take the first bite so she took the first bite and I guess bet you, bet you guys can't believe what was found inside the cookie there was a rock inside of her cookie. Like an actual rock had been somehow put into the cookie. And so she said that when she was coming to school, you know, she was obviously a little bit high, and that she tripped and fell when she was coming up the hill, and that apparently rocks got inside of the cookie dough and under the actual frosting that she had, and that her cookies got destroyed. Now, the cookies didn't look really destroyed to me. There was a few pieces that were kind of cracked off, but obviously if you guys are going to fall down then if you have cookies, they're obviously going to crack, and they're not going to look pristine condition like they just came out of the oven. So I was a little bit curious, and so I gave her one of the cookies that she had put on my desk, and I said, all right, why don't you go ahead and try this one? Now, needless to say, there was a rock inside of my cookie too, and in almost every single other cookie that she made, there was a rock of some type inside of there. Now, I'm not sure if it was like, an actual rock that she had found outside, or if it was like a drug or something. You know, I never really tried the cookie, so I wouldn't know. But she apparently got all sad because she worked so hard to have these cookies and make them for us, and apparently she had fallen, like I said, and that they all were now filled with rocks. So guys, I mean, had I eaten that cookie, I probably could have gotten kind of sick if it was like a drug, or if it was an actual rock, I probably could have broken some of my teeth, which wouldn't have exactly been the best day. Now, like I said, I mean, I'm not trying to accuse this girl of anything, but if you guys are walking with your cookies and you drop them, they're going to get kind of crushed. Even those little soft cookies that you can buy at the Walmart bakery, you know, if you guys walk with those, they're going to get crushed and they're going to crumble and not be as good. Stuff isn't just going to disappear inside of them and then the cookies aren't just all going to look there so I figured she obviously must be making these cookies by herself at her house and things like that and obviously because she had been you know like burning mints and burning paper and different things onto the desk and just being really weird throughout the second semester of that class I figured that she probably had done something to those cookies and that she was probably trying to poison us so that is the story guys of how I almost got poisoned if you guys are at school, I mean, don't don't take things from other kids. I, I guess I guess gum is okay, but like don't don't be taking brownies and cookies and stuff from other kids cuz never really know what they might be hiding inside of it. You never really know what surprise they might have planned for you or maybe they just decided to go ahead and give you a special surprise to the doctor or the dentist office later on. So yeah, guys, I mean, don't take things from random people. That's kind of the whole gist of the story. But I figured some of you guys might find it funny because, I mean, I got to admit, some of the things that this girl did were really incredibly stupid that it was just extremely funny to watch. I mean, especially watching her burn a mint onto the table. That was, it was really quite funny and very entertaining to go ahead and watch. So anyways, guys, like I said, that's the story. It's how I almost got poisoned. If you guys want to see more story videos like this, make sure that you leave a like on the video, and also don't forget to subscribe here if you're brand new. But anyways, with all that being said, I'll see you guys later on with another video. Peace out.